Hey guys, this is your host Parth and this is a very special video for me because I am going to share my experience of growing garlic wine in a container successfully. One unique thing that I want to share about which sounds a bit funny. Although this plant is known as garlic wine, on the contrary, the flowers of this wine smells like mint and not like garlic. I bet if you watch this video till the end, your journey of growing garlic wine in the containers would be much easier than mine as I did many mistakes while growing it in a container and I don't want you to do the same mistakes. So be with me in this video till the end so that you can get to know about all the necessary conditions this garlic wine requires to grow well in the containers. If you have been following my videos, then you might know that I have three garlic wines in my collections. One I bought it in the beginning of summers in March 2019. The second one was bought by me in the fall of 2019. And the third one I recently purchased this year in 2021. Before I move forward, I have named them with three different names so that it would be easier for you to understand each one of them. So the oldest of my garlic wine I have named as Goku and the semi oldest garlic wine I have named as Vegeta and the newest of all is named as Gohan. I will share all the mistakes I have done with my Gohan which is the youngest of all and you must not do the same if you want good results. The Gohan garlic wine which I have bought recently didn't perform well at all and the major reasons behind were many. The first mistake I did was I placed the plant in an area where it could hardly receive 2 hours of sunlight. My wine could barely grow well. The second mistake was that I used an old potting mixture which was completely garden soil and I guess it barely had any nutrients in it. The third mistake I made was that I and my family members sometimes overwater this plant. Because of that it struggled a lot. But what I feel the main reason why Gohan couldn't do well and grow to its fullest was the lack of sunlight. So if you don't have space where you can grow your garlic wine and it can receive good amount of sunlight, I would suggest you don't bring it to your home else it will suffer a lot. Later I plan to give my Gohan garlic wine a fresh soil mixture that contained 50% garden soil and rest 50% vermicompost. Let's now talk about Goku garlic wine which is the eldest of all. Honestly I used to get scared a lot using compost in my plants as I was afraid of overusing or underusing the compost dose to my plants. So that resultantly it might not end up harming my plants. But I was very much keen to look for an alternative to the garden soil as the garden soil is quite heavier. And if we do gardening on terraces or balconies, then we ought to be cautious enough while using the garden soil. Apart from this, I already knew the recipe of lightweight soil mixture too. But I was always curious to know if we can grow the plants directly in the compost or not. And this was my first ever plant to experiment and the results which I got are all in front of you. But but but, exceptions are always there. Not every plant will do well in such composition of 100% compost method. So you have to judge your plant needs and take the specific actions. 
also i have grown goku in my balcony and it was growing really well there but my plan move it to my terrace so that it could receive full sunlight which will help it to bloom profusely in the blooming season and luckily it's blooming profusely now let's now talk about vegeta garlic wine i have used the same composition of 100% compost method in it as well also i have shifted the plant recently in a bigger container to take my vegeta garlic wine to the next level and luckily i am successful at achieving this target in fact both of my garlic wines to whom i have offered compost and rest soil mixture are performing really well so let's talk about how to grow and care for garlic wine while growing it in containers container size if you have just bought the garlic wine from the nursery you could start planting it in 8 or 10 inches of container but next year you need to shift your wine to its final location that is 14 to 16 inches of container to get better growth soil type honestly this wine is extremely hungry for nutrition rich soil if you don't want to use the 100% compost method then you can opt for 50% garden soil and rest 50% compost ratio to get better results sunlight as shared above i made a huge blunder of assuming that garlic wine does not need much sunlight but the poor growth of my plant proved how wrong i was basically garlic wine requires at least 5 to 6 hours of sunlight every day to grow well and to bloom profusely fertilizers If you will use the 100% compost matter as garlic wine soil mixture then you can forget the wine to its own for 3 to 4 months as it won't require regular feeding anymore but you can use 2 to 3 handful of cow dung powder or leaf compost in every 3 to 4 months or you can also give liquid fertilization to the garlic wine pests to add on to your happiness garlic wine is completely pest resistant plant the major reason behind this is the pungent strong smell that this plant gives and it helps in keeping this pests away i'm sharing some glimpses of certain stages of my garlic wine i hope you will like them
that's all for today's video. I hope you guys will learn from the mistakes I made and try not to repeat them. In case you want to share your experiences with me about your gardening, the comment box is all yours and I'm here to listen. Thank you once again for watching the video. If you feel the content of my video is informative, then please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family members. Thank you once again. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Until then, stay happy, healthy and blooming.